Hello, Gary Simon at designcourse.com. Today we're going to finish up the 3D iOS app icon launcher. If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out designcourse.com and subscribe here on YouTube. And also check out Design Course Premium where I will personally walk you through and train you into becoming a better designer. All right, so designcourse.com for that. All right, let's get started. All right, so here in Photoshop, go ahead and open up the render uh, wherever you saved that. and. You can see it's only at 33.3%. The full version is if you hit Control or Command One on uh, Command on rather on Mac. I'm sorry. Uh, you'll see we can get up to 100%. This is the actual size. It's pretty big. I uh, zoom out here. So what we want to do is go to File New and specify. Now again, this is what I talked about yesterday's video. Um, if you're trying to upload an app icon, let's say for example. Uh, at 1024 by 1024 background contents I've set to transparent RGB 72 hit OK all right and then we hit uh, we take control a control C to copy everything here and then paste it in we'll see that this is it's almost the right size but I wanted mine to be just a little bit bigger than this so if you wanted to use that size of an app icon at 1024 by 1024 you could just uh, go back into Blender and increase the size right here of the resolution, uh, and then it'll work appropriately. But just for the purposes of tutorial, I'm going to close out of there. I'm going to go to File, New, and just change it to 512 by 512. All right, hit OK. And now we want to take the Rounded Rectangle tool. So you just left click and drag and select Rounded Rectangle tool. Just left click anywhere once, and then it'll give you the create rounded rectangle dialog box. We're going to make the width 512 and the height 512. And these are the border radius. So what we want to do is uh, when it comes to a 512 by 512 app icon size, the border or the corner radius is 80 for an iOS app icon. All right, so if it was, if you're using 1024 by 1024, you're going to use 160. All right, just so a little bit of math for you. All right, hit OK. And we'll get this lined up. You can make it a darker color by double clicking on this color right here and just making it darker. And let me close that out. And then you can use your keyboard arrow keys to get this lined up properly right there. All right, so we already have this copied over here. Uh, what we want to do instead of just Control V and pasting it in, we want to create a new layer first. Control, Shift, and the letter N as a nose or new. And we want to specify use previous layer to create clipping mask. Hit OK. So now it's pointing down to this. And so now when we paste this in, it's only going to show inside of this layer. All right, so now we can move this. And now we can see we have our cool looking app uh, icon, and it's only being affected by where we move this in. So I want to go to image real quick and we're going to go to canvas size and I'm going to expand it a little bit just so we can see outside of the edges of the icon. So 512, we're going to change this maybe to 800. Oops, no. We want to change the width and the height by 800. There we go. Hit OK. All right, so I want to give the uh, background layer, first we have to create it, Control-Shift-N, call it BG for background, hit Enter, drag it to the bottom, and then we'll give it a, a pretty dark blue, desaturated sort of color right there. All right. Now I want to take layer one, we'll just call this 3D, and I'm going to hit Control-T, and we're just going to move it down so we can get the edge over here. Hold Shift, scale that down a little bit. And you may have to do it a few times. Uh, if you want to see everything easier, hold Alt in your scroll wheel. You can zoom up and out that way. And so you can hold Shift and you can, you can rotate this even. I think right there is pretty good. 
just so the bottom portion is touching the bottom of the app icon. Select the Move Tool, hit Apply. All right, so now if we hit Control-1, we can go up to 100%. And I noticed I it kind of looks at 100% jagged for some reason. I think that has to do with changing the, uh, the the canvas size. So if that happens to you, just go back here, Control C to copy, Control A to select all and then hit delete, Control V to paste again, oops, just select on random rectangle, and Control V to paste again, and hit Control T and do your adjustments again. And that should definitely not happen at this time. I think right there is where I had it. Select Move Tool, hit Apply. Now it's smoother. Yeah, it's kind of strange, and that never happened to me before. But anyhow, not a big deal. All right, so now what I want to do is uh, we can still play around with this quite a bit. So I'm going to delete this, rename this one to 3D. Uh, if you go to Windows, Adjustments, or click over here, you can apply all these adjustment layers to this layer specifically. So if we want to play around with the brightness and contrast, just click on this. Uh, if you play around with the brightness, it's going to select everything, including this background. We don't want that to happen, so we click on this little icon right there, and that way it only affects this layer. All right, so I'm going to turn the contrast up maybe right around there. And you can see what it looks like without that, just by hiding this adjustment layer. So this is with it on. This just kind of brightens things up a little bit. I kind of like it, so I'm going to leave that. And also, I kind of want to add like uh, some kind of just flare or type of reflection thing. So I'm going to take the brush tool, and we want a hardness of zero for our feathered brush. And the size, I'm going to use around 330 pixels. Make sure we have white selected. Hit OK. Control Shift N for a new layer. Hit Enter. Oops. What the hell happened there? There we go. All right. And now we want to duplicate that. Right click, hit Duplicate Layer. Hit OK. And hit Control T and hold Alt and drag down the top portion. So we kind of have like this horizontal flare going there. And select Move Tool, hit Apply. And it's like this layer one down here. We'll just call this Large Glare. And you can always play around with the layer blend mode up here. By default, it's normal, of course. But if you click it and it's highlighted now, you, you can use your down arrow key to filter through these just to see if there's something that might look a little bit better. I like that. It kind of highlights this portion. And you can always duplicate this as well. So right click, duplicate layer, hit OK. And it can become a little bit too intense, so it screws up your edges a little bit. But you can always take down the opacity so that doesn't happen so much. And then maybe do one more time, change this to normal. Hit Control T, Shift and Alt. We'll scale it down this way. Select Move Tool, hit Apply. And then our layer one, we'll call this Horizontal Glare. And then this one, you could try Overlay as well. Or we'll just experiment. I think that's pretty good right around there. All right, so now that you have that done, uh, this is basically what we'll consider oops, uh, our finished icon. All right, so if you take everything, hold Shift, select all those layers, hit Control G to group them up. We call this 5, 12 for that size. And take uh, Auto Select, make sure that's checked on. You can change it to Group, so that way we click on this, it will automatically select a group. This is now our design basically. So if we go to File New and specify 512 by 512 and drag this off, come back here, left click and drag this in, position it with your arrow keys. Alright, once you have it positioned correctly, 
you can go ahead and file. You can save this as a PSD, first of all, so you can always edit it in the future. And then file save for web. You can save it as like a 24-bit PNG and save. And then there you go. That's basically the file that you would uh, upload and use as your app launcher. All right, so let's say we wanted to kind of showcase this icon. I uh, Let me go ahead and I'm just going to close out of there. All right, so let me zoom out here a little bit. So it's always nice sometimes if you want to showcase for your portfolio the actual icon. You can do it this way. I mean, this looks pretty sweet. Uh, and contrast for the background. Shows the icon. That's cool. Uh, you could save this if you wish. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to Image Canvas Size. And I'm going to make the width like 1,200. All right. I'm going to select this background color using the eyedropper. Take the paint bucket tool, select BG, fill those in. I'm going to move this over and hit Control Shift D. That's a shortcut I have for duplicating a group or right click duplicate it. So I'm just going to use that shortcut from now on. All right. And actually, the better way of doing this, I shouldn't have closed that other window. I am sorry, damn it. Just going to do that real quick again. If we go over here and we uh actually let me see something yeah if we go over here and drag this down pull that in dock that back up move this over get that centered so if we wanted to show a 256 by 256 version we get an image image size not canvas size we would change this to 256 hit ok control a edit copy merged and then come back here, control V to paste it. And then if you wanted to do that again, come back over here to this uh, document, image size, change that to 128. Control A, control C. Damn it, keep on going to the wrong area. Oh, okay. So if you control C that instead of going to edit, copy, merge, that's what happens. Now we'll do that. Pretty sweet, anyhow. Uh, but yeah, that is the tutorial. You could, of course, keep on doing that all the way down to 64 and 32. Um, but yeah, you get the point at this point. So uh, that is it. So hopefully you enjoyed this pretty quick uh, and easy how to 3D, how to create a 3D version out of a, a vector graphic for use in an app icon. All right, so uh, check out designcourse.com for sure. And if you liked what you've seen here, um, let me bring this up. Check out the designcourse.com forums. Introduce yourself in the introduction section. I will say hi. And yeah, subscribe here on YouTube, of course. That always helps out. Doing videos, I'm pumping them out like a madman. So yeah, all right. Uh, I will see you tomorrow with a new tutorial. Goodbye.